Welcome back to Consumer Labs. You know we do. We talk about everything. We test everything. And, um, you know, I got a business, but my business is really not about testing. I develop products. This is what I do. However, once in a while, I like to get on YouTube and like to talk about some of the things that I run through tests and that I like to improve things as well. With that being said, we test electronics, we test robotics, we do other products, cleaning products, and guess what? We even do sneakers. Yes, indeed, we do sneakers. Now, I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons with Nike. Now, now I know there's a lot of different types of brands of sneakers that Nike make. I'm not gonna sit here and go through all the brand sneakers that Nike make. But what I am gonna tell you is that I did a serious beat down test on their sneakers. And I just took this brand. At the time, I paid about maybe 150 ish something like that. And these are the Nike Zoom X, right? And uh, these are very lightweight sneakers. Now, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons about the sneaker. But let me just talk about why I bought these and what was the reason behind it. I will tell you that these Zoom X and other brands similar to that Nike make like this, they are very comfortable, number one. Number two, they are extremely light. They only weigh a couple of ounces. I mean, literally a couple of ounces. And that's due to the fact that it's mostly made of uh, material, right? No leather, right? So leather will bring more weight to the sneaker. And also, the sole is made up of a foam. So it's very cushiony. And I could tell you one thing. If you have bad ankles, bad knees, or you do a lot of running, a lot of walking, then you know what? This is the way to go. Now, I do... I do about a mile a day, a little bit over a mile a day of walking. You know, guys, you know, you got to work out, guys, stay in shape. You know how it goes, right? And um, it works out well. So I like wearing sneakers like this. Now, I know, don't, listen, stop. I know you're going to say, well, those are not fashionable. Well, you get it, keep this in mind. Nike make other sneakers that are very fashionable, but they are designed pretty much the same. They use this type of foam, right, to give you a nice cushion when you walk and it's good because it relieves the tension and pressure on your ankles and on your knees which is perfect now that's the good thing now what i'm going to show you now is pertaining to these nike zoom x now no and no again this is not made in china so when i show you this problem with this nigga i don't want you telling me oh it's made in china they are not made in china all right they made in vietnam with that being said i'm just wondering if Nike's quality is starting to go down. That's what I'm just saying. I mean, I've been buying Nikes for a long time, and so have you, right? You know, some of you spend 300, 400, some maybe spend close to 1,000 on some of these, you know, Nike, Nike sneakers that come out, you know, by Jordan, you know what I'm talking about, right? You spend a lot of money, but have you ever really put those sneakers to a test? You know, and think about this. Most of the time, People wear that sneaker, especially these expensive sneakers that they buy on the secondary market. They spend maybe four, five, six hundred dollars or more, and they don't really wear them. They just they, you know, once in a while they go to a party or they show up their friends and they put them on their foot and like, oh look like ah, I spent a thousand, and they go back and they wear their forty dollar sneaker. <laughs> I get it, you don't want to mess those up, right? You spend a lot of money, like, right? Some people wait in long lines to wear these Nike sneakers. But have you ever really put them to the test? Have you ever really see how, if they're really durable? And I can tell you right now, I most of the time have great uh, success with Nikes. You know, I, I can say that. But I'm wondering if the quality is starting to slip a little bit. I'm just saying. I'm going to show you why I mean. Right now, so I've been wearing these things now for a while. I think about it here now, something of that nature. And I look what happened. I'm just going to show you right away. They start in the split right here at the seam. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but they starting to split at right here at the seam of the sneaker. This is crazy. So I'm like, yo, what's up with that? I spent like, you know, some money on it. And it's not really, you know, most people consider $150, $140, not a lot for a pair of sneakers, but hey, it is money that I'm spending for sneakers. And now I had to go buy another pair of sneakers because I'm not certain if this sneaker is just going to start falling apart on me, right? So I'm like, yo, what's going on here? So it makes me wonder, is the quality of these sneakers, are Nike, is Nike, I should say, starting to slip? Are they starting to slip? Now, 
I'm going to say that I expected much more from Nike. I, I really do expect more from Nike. Now, I don't know if they just have an equality issue or what, but that is totally unacceptable. Now, I'm not saying, or maybe I am saying, that the sneaker that you got right now, you might love them. They might be great. You might spend $600 on them, but you just like, you know, you just do tiptoeing with your sneakers, right? You're not really putting them through no real stress. But if you do put them in stress like I did, and by the way, my stress test was running with them, walking with them. You see how dirty they are. I was working out with them, doing my exercise with them. I lift weights with them. Everything I could possibly do. And, you know, like normal day activity. I'm not like sitting there throwing them off buildings. <laughs> I'm not taking my sneakers and pulling them, trying to rip them. Just daily, normal daily activity. And you can see that at the seams of that sneaker, they starting to fall apart. I'm, I mean, this is kind of crazy. So, you know, we had Consumer Labs. We were a little concerned there, and we noticed that that seems is happening all around. Now, what they normally do to make these sneakers, they use some type of glue. Like, when I say glue, I'm not talking about, like, just regular glue that you get from your, you know, your regular you know, grocery store. I'm talking about really glue that really binds the sneaker, the material to the leather. I mean, sorry, the, the material to the sole of the sneaker. And it looks like it's just started coming off. I'm like, I'm just, it's just kind of crazy. So let me know. Leave a comment below and let me know what your results with your type of sneaker. Now, I can't make conclusion with every sneaker Nike. Nike makes abundance of sneaker. My only thing is, I'm just wondering if the quality of Nike is it starting to suffer? Is is something going on? There? Is is it just with certain brands? Is it just with these sold? Let me know. Leave a comment below. Share what you know with the world so we be aware of that. Now those are once again those are the Nike Zoom X. Now I just ordered another pair of sneakers from Nike. <laughs> I know it might sound crazy, but I ordered another pair. And I'm gonna run those through the pace too. And if I see that these other sneakers that I buy uh, if they start to fall apart like this one, uh, this, we need to bring this to the news. Yeah, we need to bring this to the news. Yeah, we need to talk about this. You know, and I got some friends and, you know, various news agencies, and I think I need to put that out there. But hold up. I'm going to wait. I'm going to do a little. I'm, let me see what happens with my next pair. Now, the next pair of sneakers are, I'm going to get is going to be different than these, of course, because I just want to see if it's this type of brand of Nike sneakers that are having this problem. But you know what? We'll see. If you have any experiences with your sneakers that you bought, that your Nike sneakers that you spent money on, leave a comment below. But here